wildfire season in this country is now in full blast and we're going to concentrate a lot of coverage on that for you as we begin this week. Fires are burning across western Canada this morning, forcing thousands of people from their homes and thousands more are getting ready to leave at a moment's notice. Let's give you the overview as we get this day underway. The most imminent threat is BC. Fast growing fire in the Fort Nelson area that could hit the community this morning. Evacuation warnings for roughly 4,000 people went out on the weekend. Next door in Alberta, we are watching today two major wildfires which are burning out of control. One of them in the northeast, just over a dozen kilometers from Fort McMurray. And people in the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo are under an evacuation alert. In western Alberta, the municipal district of Greenview, south of uh, Grand Prairie, is also under an evacuation alert. And in Manitoba, the community of Cranberry Partage near Flin Flon was forced to evacuate on the weekend because of an out-of-control wildfire situation there. So that's the overview. We're going to bring you details. We're going to bring you evacuation information this morning, and Marianne is going to be tracking things today. Let's begin with British Columbia because that this morning, so 3 o'clock in the morning there, that's really where the most imminent risk is. That's right, and we are reaching out to officials in British Columbia this morning to get the very latest on this Parker Lake fire. That's the one that's burning near Fort Nelson, and that's also where there had been fears that those really dry conditions and the strong winds would literally fan those flames moving it closer to the community and as Heather you just mentioned it is expected to reach Fort Nelson sometime today so again keeping an eye on that and what officials have to say but what we know is that this fire doubled in size to 41 square kilometers on Sunday and that really did lead to those really urgent messages for those 34,000 people in Fort Nelson to leave as quickly as possible, as well as 400 people living in Fort Nelson First Nation. All of this caused, it's believed to be, by a down tree on Friday. Now, despite that evacuation order, about 100 to 150 people decided to stay. That's according to the mayor in the area there. There was a bus that left yesterday afternoon to get those people out of the community. But the warning was that once those final buses left yesterday afternoon, there was no other help available to get those residents out of there. Here's more uh, on that warning. If you are still in Fort Nelson or anywhere in the evacuation order of the Parker Lake wildfire, I encourage you to leave. The fuels are as dry as we have ever seen. The wind is going to be sustained and it is going to push the fire towards the community. Escape routes may be compromised and visibility will be poor as the fire continues to grow. So it would be very difficult for anyone who decides to stay there. Also, no medical services there, no other amenities, groceries available. So if anyone decided to stay there, that is the warning from officials. It is believed, though, that uh, the winds are expected to die down. But unless there's some kind of rainfall, Heather, there is still quite uh, the fire threat for those communities. Okay, so we're going to focus on those three provinces. Let's turn next to Alberta, the two that are out of control near Fort McMurray and near Grand Prairie. What's a little bit more detail there? Yeah, they continue to be out of control. They continue to try to fight those fires. And as a result of those fires, there are not only evacu evacuation alerts and orders, which I'll get to in just a moment, but also these really smoky conditions. A lot of advisories currently in place over Alberta, not only because of those two out of control fires in Alberta, but also because of what's happening in neighboring British Columbia. In fact, there are tons of air quality alerts. It's actually the worst in areas in Edmonton, Grand Prairie, and Peace River. They have the worst air conditions right now. Uh, that map showing you exactly where that smoke is hovering and why that's leading to really difficult conditions for people to breathe there. Um, as I mentioned, there were evacuation orders and alerts issued in the area of Fort McMurray and Sapri Creek. Uh, that fire there tripled in size. Also, uh, Grand Prairie uh, residents living there, Heather, told to follow those evacuation orders. Okay, and uh, the Cranberry Portage situation in Manitoba. Smoke also an issue uh, there, uh, but also the fire we've been watching near Flin Flon. That's right, that fire near Flin Flon, not giving residents a lot of time to get out of the community. At first, they were given a two-hour window to get out. That quickly escalated to 20 minutes. So those people who lived in the homes and cottages in that area quickly had to leave. We know that this began on Thursday. The conditions, again, dry 
fueling those uh, fires that continue to grow there. There are also strong winds. This image here gives you an idea of just what they're dealing with. And at this point, also, Heather, keeping an eye on what's happening there because residents and officials in Manitoba calling for help in Ottawa, or rather, excuse me, for those in Ontario and Saskatchewan. Okay, Marianne, thank you very much. I was in Calgary over the weekend, and the air quality, I can even attest to that in Calgary, coming in from all sides. It was pretty strong today. We'll talk about it hour by hour and bring you the latest information on the wildfire situation in the West. Thank you.